Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to try and cover uh, a, an optimization tip uh, around making changes to a thousand items. So previously, we would have to make a recursive change. Uh, it was necessary to space out capacity. Uh, however, uh, it's wasteful because there's a lot of overhead. Uh, if you think about it, uh, every item that you make changes to, you have to schedule an API workflow. So for a thousand items changed, there are a thousand scheduled API workflows and a thousand make changes to thing. Uh, that's wasteful, uh, in a sense, quite wasteful. However, uh, we can uh, like make changes to a hundred at a time, even before, I mean, the reason one at a time was like, okay, we just space it out capacity. It's not necessary faster. If we needed something faster, we would do it a hundred at a time. Uh, it would use a bit more capacity, but it was a careful balancing act of what you're doing, what you're not doing. Uh, but with the new workload unit model, uh, this, this it's just, we now have more numbers. Uh, so let's just take a quick look at the editor. Uh, this one just, uh, schedule API workflow recursively and in the back end you've got uh, make changes to the item number and uh, call it again until you're done with a thousand items. Okay. And the other one, which is do it a hundred at a time. Uh, in that one, you call uh, start one and hundred block size hundred. And in the back end workflow, uh, you're me instead of making changes to a thing, you're making changes to a list of things, <clears throat> items from the start until block size and uh, just pass it on the start plus block size and then block size. So in this model, what happens is that you have to change a thousand items uh, in the DB. You've got uh, 10 scheduled workflows. So the overhead difference is quite high. If you, if you take a look at the logs and snoop in, uh, we see that making changes to uh, 100 at a time, 588 workload units, one at a time, 2500 so a four, four five x difference uh with a simple subtle change uh and an interesting update uh on the forum it's easy to miss but josh has been really lovely he's answered a lot of questions in uh, a follow-up response it's part of the thread quite deep uh but actually we've got uh we've got loops coming in uh, so just they're, they're working on making uh for loops equivalent or a efficient bulk data transformations for loops were really uh, it was basically uh, the reason for loops were not preferred or possible was because the workflows had a five minute timeout and uh, it was capacity constrained and for loops are like it was going to spike capacity but now with the workload unit model uh, for loops uh, it, it's, it's it doesn't make sense to not do them uh, but it'll be more efficient over time so that was a subtle thing I found, okay, one at a time versus a hundred at a time, this huge difference uh, in the overhead. Uh, I'm going to share a link to this editor as well, and I'm going to try and see if I can kind of collect whatever experiments I do, whatever uh, uh, optimization tips and tricks I do in one place, uh, including a link to the editor, including this video as well. If you guys uh, have found things, drop ideas in the comments below and uh, i'd be more than happy to uh, make another video or add them to this uh, editor or if you want access just reach out i I'm, i i don't think i can do this alone uh it needs a combined effort uh, so that we can just grow a set of like benchmarks or optimization tips in one place uh to help the community all right thanks bye